So if I have a child and that child needs admonishing or needs correction of some, some form, if I am to use the best of speech, the child will process the language and the speech I have said in a way that will either result in that child doing something good or heading in the wrong direction. Why? Because of the choice of words I have had. And in order to choose your words, you also need to use your brain. You need to use your mind. So before I open my mouth, I need to think. What is it that I need to think about? I need to think firstly, what do I want to say? We all have heard the Arabic quotation, Innama ju'ila lisanu ala al-fu'adi dalila. The tongue has actually been kept as a means of displaying what exactly is in the heart. You know what's in your heart? You want to say it. It's not shown on your face, nor is it shown on your hands. But it is shown when you talk about it. This is why we always tell the married people and we tell others that, you know, when something is wrong, when you are sad for some reason, say it out in a beautiful way. Why are you sad? Do not expect people to jump to a conclusion because they will jump to wrong conclusions. Sometimes a person is frowning, you know, they're really upset. They're not talking to you and someone is asking you, why are you so upset? And you just quiet. Why are you so angry? And you're just quiet. Why are you so upset? Silence. Silence is never ever going to be able to solve that matter. You need to talk, you need to speak up, you, but in a beautiful way. So don't just start screaming and yelling, but think firstly. What do I want to say? I want to tell my husband that I am upset with you, for example. Why am I upset? I am upset because I have seen you flirting. Okay, so how do you word it? You don't just start screaming and yelling, but you think firstly. Allah has given me a tongue and a mind. Now instead of just wagging that tongue by saying the most dirty of words, I want to solve the problem or do I want to create a bigger problem? It should be the first. I want to solve the problem. So I need to think carefully. Look, mashallah, what a good man. But he has a weakness or he made a mistake. Let me raise the issue with him in a beautiful way. So I think firstly, how do I say it? So I can start using good words. You know, you are such a good man. Mashallah, look where we started. Now the mind starts to process what we are saying. It's not just the wagging of a tongue without the mind. The mind processes, wow, I'm being praised. You're such a good man. You've done so much for me. You're a good father. You know, mashallah, you've achieved so much in this world. Your business is also flourishing. I, mashallah, you also try to read your salah and so on. You know, there is a small thing that just hurt my heart. And I feel because you're a good man, I don't want your link with Allah to be severed because it will affect the link with all of us. So rather you build your link with Allah, you see your relation you have with the opposite sex. I think it needs to be governed in a beautiful way. My beloved husband, I really feel that you can do much better than this. Look at this message that I've seen on your phone. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why did I say this? To show you that there is a way of speaking. There is a way of using your tongue. You use your mind. The person who heard you will look and say, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. You are so right, my darling. Let's read two rakats of salah, inshallah. And I ask Allah to forgive me, to grant me strength. Wow, I hope we are husbands like that, mashallah. Mashallah. But you need to be a wife like that too. <laughs> so we can solve our matters if we know how to. But if you come up, what's this message? Who do you think you are? I'm never talking to you again. Or you just keep quiet and you're sleeping in the other room and the man doesn't even know why. What's going on? So we have not even opened our mouths when we needed to. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen us. Use the gift of Allah. Do not abuse it. Use the gift of Allah to solve your matters. But do not ignore the gift of Allah when you need it. When you really need it. You need to say things. You need to utter words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. 